Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 10.10 .10 has been released. And like every awesome release of LaunchBox, we have some new fixes, improvements, and new features. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the more notable new features and fixes. But if you're interested in checking out all the new changes, I'll leave a link to the change log in the description. So first up, we're going to start from the top here. New feature. The cleanup media tool has been totally overhauled. It's now going to allow you to pick and choose what you want to delete and what you want to keep when you use the Media Cleanup tool. So we'll get right into it. From within LaunchBox, we'll just head over to our Settings tab, Tools, Cleanup Media. Now for this video, I'm just going to be selecting Manuals to make it a little quicker. I'll click OK. It's going to scan for that type of media that I chose. And instead of automatically deleting everything, we get a list that we can choose from. We can select none or select all. I'm going to choose select none. I'll just scroll down here and find a couple that I want to delete. Victor Banana and Turkey Shoot. I want to keep everything out. So I'm just going to choose delete selected. So now you can basically pick and choose what you want to delete. This works for images, videos, and manuals. Next on the list, really awesome feature if you're into multi-disc games, because LaunchBox will now automatically create multi-disc M3U playlists for emulators and cores that support it. Now this does have to be enabled in the settings and I'll show you how to do it, but it works with emulators such as Flycast and it even works with the Manafin cores. In order to get this set up correctly, we're going to head over to Tools, Manage Emulators, and from here I'm just going to go into RetroArch because I have a few cores that will support the M3U playlist. Associated Platforms, we now have an option to use M3U playlists for multiple discs. So if we take a look down the list here, we can enable it for Sony PlayStation as long as you're using the Manafin Core. And there's a few more in here. Sega Dreamcast with the Flycast Core. And I believe Sega Saturn is here. And I'm using Manafin for this also. So it's really easy to enable and it only works with emulators and cores that support it. Right here I'm inside of my core section for RetroArch. These three do support it, but there are standalone emulators that will also support it and this will be listed in your emulator section. With the new default theme in LaunchBox, we do have background blurring and some people just don't like it. So we've now enabled a way to fine tune the amount of blurring. We can easily also turn it off. So from within LaunchBox, we'll head over to Tools. Options, Backgrounds. So my background blur amount is set to 50%. I'm just going to turn this all the way off. Click OK. And now when I choose a game, I won't have that blurred background. But you can enable it if you'd like. I kind of do like having a little bit of blur. I'll probably set it around 15 to 20%. I think it looks really good and it does make the boxes easier to see on top of these background images. But you can now fine tune it if you're not into the blurring at all. So with the new default theme, we brought background blurring and dynamic box sizing, but this can now be disabled from Options, Visuals, Boxes. For instance, when I have my cart set up for Sega Genesis, as you can see, got the dynamic box sizing going on here. But if you do not like this, go into Options, Boxes, and we can disable dynamic box sizing along with Enable Box Shadows, so you won't have any box shadows. I'll click OK. And now, I don't have that dynamic box sizing. I will have this space here. Personally, I like leaving it enabled. It just makes everything look a little cleaner and not so spaced out. But if you don't like that dynamic box sizing, you can now disable it very easily. And finally, dealing with that new default launch box theme, performance of the new theme is now on par with the old default theme. We're using a completely new method to blur the background since the old method was causing performance degradation. Now this was something very important that we had to get right so it is now fixed. The new default theme is just as fast as the old default theme. So like I mentioned, if you're interested in checking out all the new fixes and improvements for LaunchBox 10.10, I'll leave a link to the changelog in the description. But before we get out of here, I just wanted to show you a new theme that I ran across while browsing the forums. I think it looks absolutely amazing and I think you need to try it out. This is known as Retro Console. It's a new big box theme by SimFunDog over on the forums. Definitely check it out. There's also a startup theme and a pause theme to match this big box theme. 
Overall, I've been using it for the last couple days. It's really fast, there's lots of different views, and I personally think that the arcade sections look amazing with this one. If you're interested in downloading this and installing it, I'll leave a link in the description. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy the new features included with LaunchBox 10.10. .10. Make sure you're fully updated. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.